Yoimiya rerun is just a couple of days away. And in this video, I will give you combat tips, weapon chart, and her recommended team comps and artifact set. Yoimiya's damage heavily relies on her elemental skill, which increases her normal attack damage, and transforms them into full pyro damage. Because of this, she benefits most from the Shimanawa Reminiscence Artifact Set. With the Shimanawa Reminiscence Artifact Set, when she casts her elemental skill, she will lose 15 energy, but she will gain 50% damage bonus to her normal, charged, and plunge attack. If she doesn't have the 15 energy when casting, she will not get the bonus damage. So it's important to use her elemental skill first, while she has the energy, before casting her elemental burst later. The best artifact pieces for her, are the Attack Sands, Pyro Goblet, and Crit Rate or Crit Damage Circlet. For the substats, look for Crit Rate, Crit Damage, or Attack Substats, and you're good to go. Now that she has the best artifact set, let's find a good weapon for her. Luckily, I have compiled her weapon chart for you here, so you can pick the best weapon that you have, based on the damage number you see in the chart. In the chart, the bigger the damage number, the better. Next, I will show you how to optimize her damage, by choosing the right team comp. First of all, since she's a ranged character, she doesn't need to move much during combat. So, the best teammate for her is Bennett, because not only Bennett is also a pyro character that can activate the pyro resonance, which increases the whole team's attack by 25%, but Bennett also provides an area attack buff, which Yonia can comfortably stand on, and have her attack increased by tons. And also, she gets healed too, by standing on the circle. Now to amplify her damage further, we can add two more things, Vaporize, and Pyro Resistance Shred. The best teammate for making Yoimiya's damage vaporized, is Xing Chu, or Yellen if you have her. With Xing Chu or Yellen, every third attack of Yoimiya's normal attack, will create a vaporized reaction, which increases that damage by at least 50%. Now the last teammate for Yoimiya, should be an Animo that can shred the enemy's pyro resistance, so her pyro attack can deal even more damage. The best Animo character for that matter is, undoubtedly, Kazua. If you don't have him, I strongly recommend to pull him now. With Kazua, he can swirl enemies with the pyro inflicted either by Bennett, or by Yoimiya, which then increases the team's pyro damage bonus, and at the same time, decreases the enemy's pyro resistance, so Yoimiya can hit it much harder. As you can see, this team comp is just perfect for Yoimiya, because of the multitude of buffs to Yoimiya, and the pyro debuff to the enemies. Adventure time! Into the wind! Rain, outline your fate! Rain cutter! Know my soul! Everybody stand back! Fallen leaves! Adorn my knights! The wind knows <laughs> As demonstrated, I cleared the abyss with ease with this very team. Now if you ask me, should you pull for Yoimiya? My answer is, why not? She and Hoopdao are the best pyro damage dealers in the game, but with Yoimiya, she is much easier to play, and can handle scattered enemies with ease, thanks to her ranged attacks. I think that's it for today's video guys. Feel free to ask me a question in the comment, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos from me. Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon in the next video.
to the wind. All the new leaves adorn my knights. The wind knows that. Strike is one. Observe. Fire has it. Nature. Clouds high. The birds come. Order guide you. Your grand finale. Time for a light show. This is order. Thank <laughs> you. 